Weight is a thought. And thoughts, of course, are very, very powerful. So as soon as you have the thought, oh my God, I'm late, maybe you'll drive in a crazy way, you'll have an accident, then you'll really be late or you'll harm yourself or other people. Um, I remember when, you know, once when I was uh, young and my children were younger that I was trying to get my four-year-old daughter to get dressed so I could take her someplace and then go to work. And I had a big, important meeting at work that I felt like, you know, I have to be there on time. Other people are going to be there. And so I said to her, at a certain point, she, she had, she couldn't decide what dress to wear, you know, four years old. This would be fantastic. And I heard myself saying, hurry up, I don't have any time. And then I heard what I just said to her. So here's a grown man who loves his daughter, saying to his daughter, Daddy doesn't have any time. What kind of a toxic message is that? I had to throw out the whole day, throw out the whole meeting. It's much more important to be, stay connected with my daughter and not produce time anxiety in her. So when you catch yourself being anxious or stressed because of time or I'm late, you know, there is a way to hold it where you, all of a sudden you put it in perspective. Here's another example. This is a very extreme example, but it, it does put things in perspective. On September 11th, 2001, okay, the planes flew into the World Trade Center. Okay? 3,000 people died. They were all involved in business. They all had things they had to do that morning. All of a sudden, none of that mattered at all. None of it mattered at all. The only thing that mattered was to get out of that building alive. And a lot of people didn't. All the papers, all the important documents, all burned, all dissolved, all disappeared. And in an instant, you knew what was most important. What was most important is to save lives. So it's very important to keep things in perspective. Or otherwise, you could always be running to try to attain some special good feeling when everything comes together and you have the right work and you have the right boss and you have the right salary and you have the right children you have the right relationship with your spouse or partner or whatever and you know it's um it's always trying to get someplace else and then i'll be happy what mindfulness is saying try being happy right now because it's not necessarily going to get any better than this and no one can do this for you this is something we have to do for ourselves. But the beauty of it is, it's not even the doing. You don't have to do one more thing in a busy day because we don't have any time to do one more thing. It's a being. So in that sense, the cultivation of mindfulness, which is a, a form of meditation, your life becomes the meditation practice. And everything that happens, including I'm late, becomes part of the curriculum to teach you how to maintain or recover equilibrium. And so it becomes a big adventure.